दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम प्यार तुम्हारा दे दो राम दास कहे मोहे दो श्री राम संगीत गायन दे दो राम गान मधुरता दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम सावधानता दे दो राम ज्ञान कंठ गत दे दो राम दास कहे हे सद्गुण धाम उत्तम गुण मोहे दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम दीन दयालो दे दो राम अभेद भक्ति दे दो राम आत्मनिवेदन दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम तन्मय तामोहे दे दो राम अर्थारो सज्जन संगति दे दो राम अलिप्तता मोहे दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम ब्रह्मा दे दो राम दास कहे मोहे दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम 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 जय राजा राम पावन भिक्षा दो राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो राम पावन भिक्षा दे दो सातलमी त 
ज 
जगत के जेते सुगम अनुग्रह तुम्हारे ते ते राम दुआरे तुम रखवारे भूतन आज्ञा बिनु पैसा रे सब सुख ल है तुम्हारी सरना तुम रक्षक काहू को डरना आपन तेज संभारो आपे तीनों लोक हाकते कापे भूत पिशाच निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुनावे ना से रोग हरे सब पीरा जपत निरंतर हनुमत वीरा संकट ते हनुमान छुड़ावे मन क्रम वचन ध्यान जो लावे सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा दिन के काज सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे सोई अमित जीवन फल पावे चारो जुग पर ताप तुम्हारा है पर सिद्ध जगत उजियारा साधु संत के तुम रखवारे असुर निकंदन राम दुलारे अष्ट सिद्धि नौ निधि के दाता असवर दीन जान की माता राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा सदा रहो रघुपति के दासा तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के दुख विसरावे अंत काल रघुबर पुर जाई जहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाई और देवता चित्तन धरई हनुमत से सर्व सुख करई संकट कटे मिटे सब पीरा जो सुमिरे हनुमत बल बीरा जय 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 हनुमान गोसाई कृपा कर हूँ गुरुदेव की नाई जो सत बार पाठ कर कोई छूट ही बंदी महा सुख होई जो यह पढ़े हनुमान चलीसा हो यह सिद्धि साखी गौरी सा तुलसीदास सदा हरि चेरा की जय नाथ हृदय महडेरा पवन तनय संकट हरना मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसहु सुर भूप सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय जय श्री कृष्णा ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ गीता परिवार आई आर्या इंदानी वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस भगवत गीता चैप्टर 18 इंटरप्रिटेशन सेशन Folding our hands before the Almighty, let's start today's session with a beautiful opening prayer. For this, I would like to call upon Madhuri Ji from Maharashtra, who is techno star in Gita Parivar since October 2021. Shri Guru Ji. Yes. जय श्री कृष्ण वसुदेव सुतंदेव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु Thank you so much, Siddhi. Light is the symbol of brightness and prosperity, as sunlight expels the darkness and brings in our life happiness and success. To make this evening a blessed one and invoke Goddess Saraswati by lamp lighting, I would like to call upon Radhika Ji from Hyderabad, who is trainer and examiner seen since Jan twenty twenty. निषिधरप्येलुलितमको मधुकर करोरंतुरीत इव संभिन्न मुकुला विधत्ता सिद्धिन्नो नयन सुभगाम से सदसा प्रकर्ण पुष्पाण हरिचरणरंजलिर शरदिंदुनिभाम शुभ्र शुभ्रवस्त्रैरलता कलहसकृतावासा व 
वरदाम शारदा Thank you so much, Didi. Are you all willing to find your way to serve Lord Krishna by becoming a Gita Sevi? So here we are very excited to announce you that Gita Sevi program will be held on seventh of May at eight thirty p.m. Indian Standard Time. Do attend to find your path and purpose of the seva. I feel honored to now introduce our today's speaker, Shraddha Didi. Shraddha Didi is from Hyderabad. She has been conducting uh, Bhagavad Gita classes since past nine years. Being disciple of Swami Govind Dev Giri Ji Maharaj, she is current trainer of Bhopal Jail class. I request Didi to take over the platform, please. Didi, I guess you are on mute. Jai Shri Krishna, everybody. A very warm welcome to the session, all of you. Thank you, Arya Didi. Very beautiful deep prajalan and the prarthana by Madhuri Didi. A very warm welcome to the session, all of you. Let's begin with the Guru Mandala. <clears throat> Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Krishnaya Vasudevaya Hare Paramatmane Pranata Kleshana Shaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Parthaya Pratibodhitam Bhagavatam Narayani Naswayam Vyasina Kratitam Purana Munina Madhye Mahabharatam Advaita Amrita Vaishini Bhagavati Mashta Deshatyayini Ambatva Manu Sandhinami Bhagavati Te Bhavati Vaishini Om Shri Gurave Namah Shri Krishnaya Namah so we all are set on a very beautiful journey of exploring the meanings of Srimad Bhagavad Gita and there are the last chapter, the 18th chapter, which is also the epitome of uh, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So far we have seen how an uh, ideal devotee is. You know, we saw in the last session the characteristics of an ideal devotee who has completely accomplished, who has mastered the skill of Unison with God. You have seen how the Siddha Purush is. To understand this uh, Siddha Purush properly, we should only remember one thing, how gold ornaments are. In gold ornaments, the presence of gold cannot be denied. Similar is the experience of the Atma Bodh, the unison with God when the, the, when the devotee gets. They realize that every part of them is a part of God. They have a ahush of God. They have a part of God in them and they are always connected to it. Tato man tatvato dnyatva vishate tadantaram tadanantaram. That is how their unison with God is. We have discussed it. How is this unison? And it is not like once they are united with God, they will stop doing their bhakti. They will stop doing their uh, daily activities. No, it is vishate tadanantaram. How is this unison? It is a continuous process. How Gangaji, once we say Gangaji is entering the ocean, we cannot say it has entered the ocean. It is still entering, isn't it? So like that, satata, constantly they are in unison with God. The characteristics of such devotees we have seen in the last session. We have seen how, now how their uh, mind is always focused on the God. And we had ended on a note where we, are, we have seen uh, Shri Krishna addressing Arjun that because of your ego, you, you thought that you are not, you, can, you will run away from the war. He thought he can, he can avoid doing the war. So Shri Krishna reminded him. How is your body? Swabhavajena kaunteya nipathasvena karmana. 
प्रकृति and your swabhav which is arising out of this prakriti is what that of a kshatriya it is not going to let you escape on this note we had completed last religion session we will see the further shlokas today there are a lot of shlokas to cover now shri krishna i give the um, control to shri krishna he is the one who is going to get this completed so let's begin with today's uh, session ishwara sarva bhutanam hriddhe sheshana tishthati brahmayan sarva bhutani yantra rudhani mayayam how shri krishna is, is in the previous shloka he has told that arjun you are a product of the prakriti then then by default you will be what bound you will be you will be bound to come in in the battlefield and have a war you will be indulged in it anyway karish karish yasya vasho pita you are helpless with that you will be bound to come and do the war now when all this <clears throat> who is the who is the controller ishvara sarva bhutanam this this all mighty this god a fraction of god he is just dwelling in all the creatures and where ritte sherjana tishthati what we can say you know we give a address of everything no so that one person can locate an individual in a big city so that we give address what is the address local address of god it is our own body so ishvara sarva bhutanam hriddhe sherjana tishthati is residing within us and while see and while he is residing how is our body brahmayan sarva bhutani he is causing what the entire uh, brahmayan the, the, we are revolving around this uh, different activities of prakriti we are revolving around different things we are doing various actions who is making all this uh, happen it is ishvara where is that ishvara within our bodies and how is this whole thing working as if yantra rudhani mayaya i'm sure some of you at least must have had a ride on those you know um rides during the fair giant wheels and all how it is there is a big machine and you sit on that machine yantra rudhani aruda means uh, city or mounted on that machine like that so you will sit on the machine and once you are sitting on the giant wheel do you have any control now once you are sitting on that machine you cannot say once it has started you can, no matter how much you shout you cannot get down from it you are in country complete control of what the uh, machine similarly one the god is amongst everyone now he is seated in us and he can control everything now we cannot say that if some uh, bad deed i have done it is because of god no it is how is the machine that will make the god work accordingly we all have seen electricity is essential for making a fan work and it was also making the tube light work the the electricity is same but depending on which machine it is going in it is going to operate so god is present amongst all of us our sharir our body is a machine a swami ramdas swami always say in marathi this is a famous thing he has said sharira sarke yantra anike nahi there is no machine like this body there is no machine that god has made like this body now this body is a machine and what actions are uh, 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 getting done by this machine it is dependent on the ishvara who is inside but how it will work it will work on the structure on the foundation of the machine if your foundation is good good actions will be result if the if the machine is defective then we know what kind of actions will be coming isn't it so just like an electricity enters in every uh, electrical machine and works in a different way gets different type of works work done this ishvara who is in amongst all of us who is who is present in all of us is getting different types of work accomplished from us 
So there is a father, suppose. Now father has two sons. Hmm? Now a father is trying to get, is giving money to go two sons. One of the uh, son, you know, he invests it nicely, invests in education, makes a good use of it and does something nice with the money. The other uh, son, suppose, just spends it on uh, unnecessary things. The money belongs to the father. So whatever the energy that is amongst all of us, that belongs to God. But how it is being spent is depending on whom? The son, how the money was being spent depended on the two sons that father had given money to. Similarly, the energy belonging to the God, how it is spent, what is getting accomplished using that money depends on us. Okay, so this is how Sri Krishna says, Brahma yan sarva bhutani yandra rudhani mayaya. To make the best utilization of all the energy that Sri Krishna has given us, Tameva sharanam gacha sarva bhavena bharata tatra sadatvaram shantim very beautiful show. See, the ultimate um, uh, sar, ultimate summary of everything that we are trying to understand is taking the final shelter in the Almighty God. This is the ultimate motive, ultimate uh, destination that we all are striving for. Okay, Tameva Sharanam Gacha Sarva Bhavena Bharata Sarva Bhavena in complete integrity with full integrity take refuge in God, take refuge in Sri Krishna and then what is the um, benefit of doing this? Tat Prasadat Param Shantim Tat Prasadat, that's a Prasad, what will you get? The the peace, the prime peace that we all are striving for, no matter what you do, best is best, um, you know, when you're small, you want chocolates, all these small, small things are happiness. That is your ultimate goal. When we grow, uh, we think we forget a good uh, college admission, I'll be happy, I'll get peace. There also we don't get peace. Then it goes to, uh, you know, getting a good college, then getting a good job, getting a good spouse, getting married every time. But ultimately, the race for peace is also eternal. As a human being, we are always racing against time. We are always racing against everything. We are always striving to get that ultimate peace. However, that Param Shantim is coming from where? Taking the ultimate refuge with the God. And tat prasadat param shanti sthanam prap sisi shashvatam. After you get that peace, then there is no moving around anywhere. There is no, uh, there is no uh, running around anywhere again. There is a shashvat, there is a eternal, everlasting peace that we can attain. By what? Doing this. Now, how do we get peace? By ultimate taking an ultimate refuge when will you take an ultimate refuge here the word sharanam is important we have to understand this word sharan also sharanam means shelter taking shelter now when will a person take shelter where will a person take shelter if suppose there is a war situation and we decide to run away from our houses and take shelter somewhere we'll go and take shelter at a place where we have faith where we are reassured that we will be safe. That is the place where one person will go and take shelter, isn't it? When uh, Vibhishanji, he saw a war situation and he knew Ravan is an almighty king. He has a lot of power. But he knew that Rama is based, Rama's side is based on, Sri Ram is based on Dharma. His side is powerful and his Dharma will also be intact. So he felt what? He felt more reassured with Sri Ram and he took refuge, he took shelter with Sri Ram. When we are taking shelter with uh, somebody we trust and assured, then only we will attain peace. And once we, uh, and how does this, uh, you know, um, relate to what we get in our lives? Suppose you go for a job, okay? And uh, when you are going for a job, uh, you have everything that you need and with that if the person who is taking your interview is somebody who is known to you is your best friend suppose 
and they end up saying, you are reassured ah mm. i am in safe hands isn't it similarly tameva sharanam kacha we are reassured and then we take shelter once we are reassured this entire process of reassurance we have seen in the previous uh, uh, session then once we are reassured we take shelter in god and attain what the param shanti the prime peace the eternal peace that we are seeking <clears throat> so we in the previous shloka we saw yantra rudhani mayaya we have seen that uh, shri krishna the the almighty is running this entire machine that we are uh, uh, situated in that we all are in now if we make friendship if we take shelter in that particular power which is uh, managing the whole thing imagine how beautiful our life will be just like if an interviewer is known to you and you are feeling secure ha now my job is confirmed similarly the one who is residing in the body and controlling all your actions if you are friends with them if you have taken shelter with that almighty power then whatever is going to happen in your life is going to be ultimately blissful itite jnanam akhyatam guhyat guhyataram maya श्रीमद्भगवदीता this highest knowledge has been imparted by shri krishna to arjun and what he says now there is no compulsion that you listen to me okay whatever i had to tell you i have told hmm? now what you have to do vimrishya you think you think with your own capacity think in your own capacity and then decide and yathe chasi tatha karu do what you think is fine do what you think is appropriate do what you think you want to do whatever you wish to do that you do here we have to understand one very important thing gita is a condensed form all secrets of vedas upanishads are condensed in shrimad bhagavad gita and whatever is the you know sar of uh, shrimad bhagavad gita is in this 18th chapter whatever guhyat guhyataram guhyat guhya is secret guhyataram see there are three stages here guhya is a secret then guhyatara it is a slightly you know uh, superlative form guhyatara hmm? and then guhyatama so there are three degrees of knowledge that we will be seeing here now degrees of secret that we will be seeing here when shri krishna said this it is it jnana makhyatam guhyat guhyataram maya i have told you everything vimrishyai tad sheshena you think now asheshena asheshena means fully completely from all directions you think about it vimrishyai tad sheshena means think about it from all direction completely introspect and see what you want to think and do now after telling all this this confusion that like started from um um what have what should i do and then arjun said i am your shishya i am your bhakta please tell me what to do again it is lying uh, ending with yathechasi katha kuru so he is appearing uh, confused again and then shri krishna says till now whatever i have told you is gyan it is a guhya gyan means it is secret knowledge and guhya taram yeah it is also a little more than that i also have told you but now what i am going to tell you is sarva guhya tamam guyash guhya tama means the highest secret he saw that the confusion is still there he is still not able to understand okay let me tell you what sarva guhya tamam guyash गुड अमाउंट ऑफ सीक्रेट इट इज सीक्रेट नाउ द हाइएस्ट सीक्रेट सपोज अ चाइल्ड इज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर एग्जाम्स एंड ही इज नॉट स्टडी 
but not very properly studied feeling still tense you know i've read everything gone through all the top uh, things then go here that whatever is required i've studied but i'm still confused in that case if his mother it's a mother is a um, teacher what she will do now the i i okay you have study no problem let me tell you what is the most important in this subject let me help you prepare the most important thing why the teacher will do it do guhiya guhiya tar for all other students but for his own, for her own child what she say sarva guhiya tamam we tell tell you the most important points before the exam let me tell you the most important points shri krishna is doing the role of that uh, the mother teacher who is uh, you know helping the child in the final exam okay wait let me tell you the most important now guhiya tamam sarva guhiya tamam bhuya shrunume paramau vacha my most important thing why i am telling you this entire most important secret again because ishto sime you are my most favorite ishta ishta means my uh, most loved beloved most beloved you are my most favorite this is i dearly love you so i am going to tell you what is beneficial to you the most important thing i am going to tell you and what is that he is telling now what he is telling now is the highest secret of all secrets remember this sarva guhya tamam bhuya shrunume paramam vacha what he is going to tell now is the highest secret of all the secrets manmaram bhava mat bhakto madhya jima namaskuru mave vaishyasi satyante pratijane priyo sine very important shloka here shri krishna has is advising four important things manmana bhava mat bhakto madhya jima namaskuru mame vaishyasi satyante pratijane priyo sime all should make a sincere effort to understand what are these four things first manmana bhava invest your mind in me be mindful of me continuously keep me in your mind every action that we are doing it should be with a with shri krishna in the mind whatever i am doing that i am doing for shri krishna am i the doer i am not the doer he is getting it done from me and first thing is be you know apply invest your entire mind in shri krishna man mana bhava then second important thing is mad bhakta bhava both are it's not easy okay continuously keeping shri krishna in mind how sometimes there are those uh, you know events when you feel no okay let me just you know for a, for a, some time at least the mind will be distracted so the highest one is man mana bhava if that is not possible mat bhakta bhava be my devotee be in continue devotee means what the one who loves shri krishna a lot bhakti is basically prem bhakti is basically love for god so have that love for me be my devotee what is the next one madhyaji bhava madhyaji yad yad shabd here means worship be be the one who worships me how is worship how do we do worship we continuously every day we should do puja every day we have to uh, do worship now this worship worshiping is a very comprehensive subject there are worship is done in various way in all households it will be done in different ways and if we try to you know even uh, understand the, the swami ji says this if you try to understand the number of types of worships in our life we'll end up spending our all entire life only trying to understand how many types of worshiping have worship or pujas are there that is also very comprehensive so whatever you know in whichever way you like worship me now one very important form of worship we have also learned worshiping by our deeds worshiping by our karma daily worship uh, shri krishna with your karma and nyaneshwar uh, bharas uses a beautiful term here swakarma kusuma as if your karma whatever actions you are doing as if they are flowers offer the best flowers to shri krishna this is also one type of worship offer the best flowers offer the best deeds to shri krishna do good deeds that can be offered to shri krishna madhyaji bhava 
would be my worshiper and even if that is not possible how simple shri krishna can make the whole things for us mam namaskuru if nothing you don't have time your man mana baba you are you are not finding it difficult to keep me in your mind all the time if you find it difficult to love me then try to do at least puja uh, you, you are in a body so try to do the ideal worship to try to do um go puja with your actions and even if all that is not possible for you the least you can do is mam namaskuru do namaskar to me do pranam to me bow down to me how much time it will take see any action every action is going to ultimately lead you to uh, the union with shri krishna and no matter what you are doing it should be done continuously even if it is a small action but is done with a spirit of consistency not even a day goes without me doing pranam to shri krishna not even a day is going without me saying few shlokas of bhagavad gita smallest action will be uh, effective if it is done for a long time even a smallest action will be effective when do be when it is done consistently so shri krishna has described these four actions in the first line and what he says mame vaikshasi satyante this you will be uh, united with me by doing these actions and this is not just he saying you know not vakshami or just uh, uh, saying it the word that he he has used here is beautiful pratijane priyosime pratijane what is the meaning of word pratijane i promise when two children are saying is playing and you know they'll do some masti ne khao meri kasam you have not done this khao kasam we keep doing this give me god promise i assure promise that promise it is an affidavit is filling here i will i am assuring you that mame vaishyasi you will be united with me such a high level commitment shri krishna has given here by doing these four things and that is why this is the sar this is the summary of whatever we have seen so far mame vaishyasi satyante pratijane priyosimi there couldn't have been a bigger level of commitment shri krishna would have given to us i promise you that by doing all these four things you will be dear to me you will always be dear to me you will be able to um, get united with me and on that note further he says sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam vraja धर्मान most of you have completed 17 chapters of bhagavad gita learning 17 chapter what has been bhagavad gita all about so far dharma <coughs> swa dharma swami ji says this is a this is a entire shastra of swa dharma of understanding your own karma this entire bhagavad gita has been revolving around understanding our dharma and now here shri krishna is saying sarva dharman parityajya apanda all the dharma what is this this we have to understand properly because there is little confusion around this what we have to understand here when shri krishna says sarva dharman parityacha mame kam sharanam vraja to understand this concept clearly we have to revisit the previous shlokas where we saw four things manmana bhava then madbhakta bhava madhyaji bhava and namaskuru you see first you go down to me these assume these as staircases ha huh? these are steps and how where it is leading, leading us a uh, namaskuru do pranam to me madhyaji bhava worship me be my devotee be and be keep your mind affixed to me when we walk on these steps what is the ultimate thing that we are uh, reaching is mame kam sharanam you will be united with me you will be taking an ultimate refuge in me when we are able to attain all these steps we will be what we will be under the refuge under the shelter of shri krishna so 
mamekam sharanam vraja you will be united with me and here what he says is sarva dharman parityaje in this process then you don't worry whether the action that you have done is according to the dharma or not dharma see when we are doing action in accordance with all these steps following all the steps and keeping shri krishna in our mind we will never go wrong here shri krishna is not saying leave your dharma he is not telling you to abandon the dharma what he is telling you have to leave worrying about dharma you don't have to so uh, again we'll go back to that interview suppose there are two candidates who are going for an interview the first candidate uh, candidate is very well qualified has all his documents in place everything he is going for the interview there are a bright chance there is a bright chance that he will get selected now there is this another ca- candidate who is also um equally bright has all documents in place equally careful along with that he has very good is a very good acquaintance with the interviewer he is best friends with the interviewer has a, has special you know the interviewer has special uh, uh, you know affinity for this uh, candidate on a personal note whatever who has a brighter chance of getting selected who has a brighter chance of uh, you know who is the one who should not worry about the final result of the interview it is the second candidate isn't it so that is the case that shri krishna is talking about now once you have your documents everything in place thoda kuch idhar udhar ho gaya one or two things here but you know that uh, the interview is your friend you can be rest assured sarva dharman parityaj you can be assured even slight mistake here or they don't worry about all this because now you are mine now your case is in my uh, control the ball is in my court so you don't have to worry now that is the meaning of this uh, shloka that now that everything you have done you you have to do it is not saying that you have to discard all dharma discard your duties give up actions no you do everything that you have done but don't worry about anything uh, related to your actions now because you have taken shelter in me mamekam sharanam raja उट why because moksha yashami i will liberate you from everything i will liberate you from all the sins that might have accidentally happened but you have to continue doing your work this, this shloka should not be misunderstood in that way we sh- we have to understand like i told you we take shelter where in the places where we have faith we cross all these steps and take a final refuge um, in god when we are taking refuge in god one more thing i want to bring to light here when you take refuge of somebody like we spoke about vibhishan taking refuge taking shelter under shri rama we will take refuge under somebody who is strong right not somebody who is weak we will go to somebody who is mighty who is who is strong who is worthy and that is what we have to do here because shri krishna because the ultimate god he has the capacity of liberating us he can liberate us from our own our sins that is why we are taking shelter in him okay so we cannot you know uh, consider these local gods local gurus we'll think about them and that is not going to help why take uh, uh, shelter in shri krishna in the god because he is the most powerful one powerful he is the ultimate divine uh, energy and he has the capacity to liberate us from our sins when we take this entire uh, refuge when we take shelter in shri krishna then there is nothing to worry about we uh, have to understand this 
even uh, in case of uh, dhruv there is a very beautiful incidence like with uh, in relation to the shlok uh, swami ji had narrated once that dhruv when he did this penance and he when he vishnu ji met him he is how could you do this he dhruv had a very simple answer because this is not my, it is not possible you entered my body and you have made me do this penance self so that i can attain uh, you so that i can attain your darshan that is was he had taken ultimate refuge in uh, shri vishnu and that is how he attained shri vishnu so beautiful aham tvam sarva pape byo moksha yashami mashacha rest of the thing he will take care of so further what we, we, we will take our journey further shri krishna has imparted this divine knowledge to arjun and by by means of arjun he has given it to all of us now here he uh, in further shri krishna is putting a savings clause also who not to give this entire divine knowledge edante edante na tapaskaya nam bhaktaya kadachana na cha shushrusha vevachan na cha mayo bhyasuyate very important now we are so passionate about uh, spreading bhagavad gita that we want to tell each and everybody about shrimad bhagavad gita here is a small warning shri krishna wants to give us there are some categories of people who shri krishna prohibits us from giving this knowledge from imparting this knowledge who are they a tapasvi who are a tapasvi people one who is not who is tapas what is tap we should understand tap is tolerating all the difficulties that come in the way of doing your actions a tapasvi is one who is not ready to take any pains to attain this divine knowledge somebody who is not willing to sit for 40 minutes in the class why you want to force them a tapasvi somebody who is not willing to take out time to listen to the vibhajan sessions to understand the meanings who is not ready to um but has enrolled for the classes then it's a different thing but even to enroll classes those who are not, unwilling are not willing to take that pain they they should be refrained we should refrain from forcing them to learn bhagavad gita a tapasvi a bhakta one who is not a devotee who refuses to accept the glory of god nowadays in this after we have got this modern education there are lot of people who are continuously questioning the presence of god ha god hai dikhao kahan hai that that kind of questions they will keep asking but we such people who refused to accept the glory those who have not given even one ounce of seva to sadguru to any guru or to god we should refrain from talking to talking about bhagavad gita to them a shushru shave means a shushru is who who is not willing to listen there are some people Uh, i experience this very often you don't tell us all that your gita stuff they they will outright tell me who are not even willing to listen even after being told repeatedly asuyaka what is asuyaka one who talks bad or who who has a perverted perception who has a defective perception a defective view about our gods there is no shortage of such people in this era okay the one who will keep criticizing our gods there are so many we hear we just once you open the newspaper see so many news there are so many tippanis unnecessary comments on our gods such people are what a suyak having a perverted view or perverted perception about gods with them shri krishna has prohibited from imparting our from imparting this knowledge so should we slow down our prachar process hmm. gaita parivar ka nara kya hai what is the what is the slogan we follow har kar uh, har ghar geeta har kar geeta kar everybody should be acquainted with bhagavad geeta we we should avoid giving it to such people as what shri krishna says our effort should however be focused because like suppose in a fair a child and a mother are going a mother uh, a child is lost in a mail in a fair and then the similarly you know it is a good thing to just connect the child back to the mother yes or no if if somebody loses their child in a fair as a 
gone out somewhere to roam about on a vacation and there the child is lost uniting the uni uniting that pers person with the, his mother uniting the child with the mother is a good deed good action to do we are just making an effort out that in any way if we can we can connect these lost soul to their shrimad bhagavad gita mother if we can connect these lost soul to their mother gita then it is a virtuous acts by all means however we have to be cautious is what shri krishna has told so we should always be in uh, dedicated towards this virtual act of connecting our people with bhagavad gita and in this effort very important shloki ya evam paramanguhyam mad bhakteshva vidhasyati bhaktim mai param kritva mame vaishyatya samshayah one one who is going to connect uh, this entire divine knowledge that that i gave you abhidhasyati hmm? who will teach the bhagavad gita to uh, teach or connect bhagavad gita connect people with bhagavad gita connect my devotees with bhagavad gita they will be what they will undoubtedly mame vaishyatya samshayam uh, they will undoubtedly be what they will be united with me they will undoubtedly come to me ultimately they will be coming to me this is a very good news for uh, uh, us volunteers isn't it a, a good news is coming in these two shlokas na chatasman manushyeshu kashchin me priyakrit परम गुय परम सीक्रेट दाइएस्ट सीक्रेट हाइएस्ट डिवाइन नॉलेज दे आर गोइंग टू बी वॉट नच नस्मा मनुष्य कश्चिन में प्रियकृतम दे विल बी मै मोस्ट फेवरेट Hmm. In twelfth chapter, we have seen bhakta ste tiva me priya ha ativa me priya and priya krutta maha. What is the best service one person can offer? Shri Krishna is telling. Kashchin me priya krutta maha. My most favorite task that one who is doing this task is actually doing my most favorite task. And whoever is doing your most favorite task will be most favorite of Shri Krishna, isn't it? so this is the great news best news for all the geeta parivar volunteers who are dedicatedly working i connected 6 lakh more than 6 lakh people to bhagavad geeta so anybody who is still having apprehensions please go and see the au geeta sevi program which is we feel look at the coincidence you know such a beautiful coincidence here we are trying to understand the importance of being a geeta sevi here we are trying to understand the importance of taking shrimad bhagavad gita to the devotees of shri krishna and we are on geeta parivar has also come up with a platform of uh, our geeta sevi for helping people to connect with the seva and people who do this kind of seva are the most dear to shri krishna very clearly he is saying anya priyataro bhuvi very important look at the second line of this 69th shloka bhavita na cha me tasma danya priyataro bhuvi there in future also he is not only talking about present like now i have told we usually what we will say this is my favorite thing at the moment this is your favorite thing what he is saying bhavita na cha me tasma in future also nothing will be no service will be more dearer to me than the service of connecting people with bhagavad gita such a beautiful uh, assurance we all have here that we are on all on the right path of gita seva we all have to remember this shloka forever na chame we'll i'll read it again na chatasman manushyeshu kashchin me priya krit तमहा 
then somebody then this job of connecting people to this divine conversation further he says adhyeshyate chayai mandhamyam samvadam avayo ज्ञान यज्ञेन तेनाहम निष्ठस्यामिति मे मतिहि व्हाट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हियर व्हाट हुएवर इज मेकिंग एन एफर्ट अथेष्यते मींस हु इज मेकिंग एन एफर्ट टू स्टडी हां हियर श्री कृष्ण इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ अस कमिंग टुगेदर इन अ डिस्कशन ऑफ विवेचन टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट धर्म्यम संवादम आवयो दैट इज द the entire conversation the dialogue samvad avayo avayo means between us our conversation whoever is trying to understand the sacred that means sacred conversation between us whoever is trying to study so using what this this is this entire uh, action of trying to study the bhagavad gita is what is a gnana yagna here this is by means of a gnana yagna yagna is what we we do special type of offering to god here here shri krishna is saying this gnana yagna na tenaham by the gnana uh, yagna that is being done by people who are trying to study bhagavad gita who are studying uh, who are trying to study the sacred dialogue amongst us ishtasyam iti me mati they will be what always dear to me they will always be worshipable by me they are always going to be my favorites ishtasyamati me mati now if what if somebody is not able to study hmm? if what is somebody is not able to study uh, every word of bhagavad gita then no problem shraddhavan anasuyascha shrunuyad api yo narah sopi mok श्रद्धावानी uh the god who have faith in them the ones who are full of faith and anasuya means their mind is free from all sorts of malice that they, they are their pure soul a pure soul is very favorite to shri krishna that we will come to we can we can see from how uh, he how favorite arjun is for uh, shri krishna arjun is favorite of shri krishna why because he was a pure soul he didn't have any malice so even in the opposition army he was he had so much love for everybody is in the opposite army so such devotees who are shraddhavan that is who are full of faith from within and those who are anasuya who they are pure souls who they are free from any kind of ill will for anybody shrunaya adapiyo naraha if such devotees are listening to shrimad bhagavad gita if they are not able to study but they are also at least making an effort of listening to it so opi mukta shrubal lokan prapnuyat punya karmana they also will be liberated from what they will also be liberated and whatever is the next birth that they get shubhal lokan they will also be progressing towards attaining me prapnuyat punya karmana whatever good deeds are done by me, other people you know they will get a particular fruit so somebody is doing charity doing yagna dana tapa so doing charity doing worship all i am doing um, you know, any kind of penas now meditation whatever a person is doing whatever fruits they are getting of all these actions prapnuyat punya karmanan similar result will be attained by those who what listen to this entire conversation see so beautiful hmm? you give um, seva 
make the people connect to bhagavad gita if that is not possible at least to you make an effort to study bhagavad gita may try to make an effort to understand all these concepts if that is also not possible when will it not be possible now see there are some people who are not lucky enough to have that basic level of literacy also so i was used to tell about one lady who who couldn't read anything so he had told that lady if you can't read she's like i can't read bhagavad gita i don't know what he says so he says no problem you have bhagavad gita you can in your puja ghar just open it and put your finger cha four charan in one shloka put your finger read charan just say krishna 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 with that also you will be able to attain you will just listen to the part of bhagavad gita try to just have faith in bhagavad gita you will get what prapniyat punya karmana so pe mukta shrabal lokan prapniyat punya karmana so simplified everything has made for shri and shri krishna has made it for us and shri krishna says whoever is listening will also attain sometimes you people will wonder what is this the one who is um, studying is also getting the same fruits the one who is reading is also getting the same result the one who is listening is also getting the same result what is it if we go to a temple no matter how rich how poor the prasad that you are going to get is going to be same prapniyat punya karmana you are going to get the ultimate same result and so in your capacity to best possible capacity go ahead and try to explore shrimad bhagavad gita and that way i really want to congratulate each one of you in this meeting and those watching on youtube everybody that you all have taken this step of being united with god of your ultimate spiritual destination we are taking you have taken yourself one step closer to this ultimate spiritual destination each one of you further shri krishna so after this entire thing shri krishna is a good teacher when teacher teaches some subject at the end of a teaching everything you understood right will she will ask assure ask assure herself whether the person whom she has taught will and is understood has understood everything or not they'll ask you ha ah, even in our classes at the end of shlokas they'll give you 5 minutes to raise your hand if there are any doubts and have you understood everything kachade tatshrutam partha tvayai kagrena chetasa kachadagyana sammoha pranashtaste nanjaya kachade tatshrutam partha he partha whatever i have told you have you list heard it tvayai kagrena chetasa by with full concentration ekagrena with full concentration have you tried to listen to this see the the purpose of asking this question is also that they are sitting in the battlefield not in a classroom like us no zoom classroom there are distractions for you are also but at least we are all the focused there are no shankar bajare no nobody who is playing the conches no drums nothing no people desperate to start a war nothing like that here but there arjun was in such a tense situation there shri krishna is very lovingly asking partha did you listen were you able to listen to this entire conversation with full concentration kachchid agnyana sammoha pranashtaste nanjaya when you listen to all this what is the entire purpose of this uh, conversation kachchid agnyana sammoha whatever is the ignorance agnyana sammoha you are this uh, what is the situation of arjun he is clouded by ignorance he is not understanding his duties this entire ignorance that he was clouding him has it been destroyed pranashtaste dananjaya he is asking is that destroyed he is not asking whether your confusion is cleared because when the confusion is cleared there is a possibility of it cropping up again isn't it so that is why very carefully the word used here is pranashtaste is it destroyed completely the last shloka of shri krishna in this entire bhagavad gita ends here so hey arjuna have you did you listen to the whole discussion with full concentration how was arjun he was dharma samura cheta cheta he was he was completely moved from dharma his mind was completely moved from what is dharma and 
Now he is asking, is that confusion cleared? Not cleared. Is it destroyed? If the confusion is cleared, there is chance, as I said, of coming back. So here Shri Krishna has very clearly asked him, what is this entire result? Hmm? So Arjun, with teary eyes, is responding to this question, Arjuna Uvaja. Nashto moha smrite labthat vatra sadan mayachyata Stito smigata sande hakkarishye vachanantava Such a beautiful answer he has given. Nashto moha smrite labtha What has been destroyed? Moha. Moha here is the uh, term used for, say, illusions. Hmm? He was illusioned by the fact that people standing in front of him are only his relatives. He was illusioned. He, he, there were clouds of ignorance on his uh, buddhi, on his wisdom. And he was wondering, what is this? Uh, he was totally uh, confused. Now here, Shri Krishna, uh, see how beautifully with full confidence and emotionally saying my entire oh, my entire ignorance is destroyed and smritir labdha now when he's, he's saying i've got the memory here it doesn't mean just the practical memory see when people become old they lose sometimes they lose memory their memory becomes smaller now getting back memory is not this physical memory that we talk about so memory is the memory of what we actually are we have a part of god in us we are he has understood all those concepts so i've got back the memory of my duty of my the whole purpose of my existence those memory i have got smritir lapta and how he has got it tvat prasadan mayachita how he has got everything as a prasad from shri krishna he now he it was not like uh, he it just happened he it is a prasad see how beautifully he is when you are getting something what is the emotion behind that when you eat food at home you know sometimes you can have that comments uh, this is good this is not good but when we are having prasad we will have no comments about it there is there is no uh, you know iota of doubt about it being beneficial for us but otherwise, with other food, you, there is it. What is the difference between the prasad and our normal food that we have? We have to have that emotion when you are seeing this shlok. Tvat prasadan mayachita. As your prasad, I have got this. What? This, um, my ignorance has been destroyed. Sito smigata sande hakkarashe vachanantava. My entire confusion is gone and now I am what? Free from all the doubts. Sitos me gata sandhya. Now I'm completely free from doubts and I will be, you know, I'm in a position to what? Follow whatever you have told me. This is the last sentence of Arjun in Bhagavad Gita. And at this point of time, how is his feeling? Like a clear sky. There is a blue clear sky. All of a sudden, see, clouds come. And then there, after that rain, storm, everything, when the clouds go away, how beautiful, clear the sky again has become. That is the situation of Arjun. He is a very dedicated warrior. And then this clouds of ignorance had come and entirely uh, cursed his uh, intellect. Now, after the entire knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, how Arjun has become? Sitos Nikata Sandeha and he is, his entire mind is as clear as the clear sky and there are there is no doubt, there are no doubts about anything. This is the impact that Bhagavad Gita will have on each one of us also. Each one of us at some point of time, time gets clouded by some or the other ignorance. At some or the other point, we all get some kinds of weird doubts that, you know, uh, uh, shake us from the path that we should follow. At that point of time, Bhagavad Gita can be a perfect guidance and to attain this guidance, not just mechanically reading uh, this uh, Bhagavad Gita is going to help. Remember, manmana mahamad bhakto. With all those uh, mind affixed on Shri Krishna, if we learn Bhagavad Gita, our minds will also be clear as how, as how Arjun's mind had become clear.
and after this entire conversation between listening to this converting conversation arjun achieved what he had to achieve sanjay says his uh, expresses his emotion he says maharaj i am blessed he is emotional he is completely emotional after listening this entire divine conversation sanjay says maharaj i am blessed sanjay uvacham ityaham vasudevasya parthasya ch mahatmanah samvadami mam ashrausham atputam ro maharshanam when we read bhagavad gita we are full of so much uh, you know uh, romance we are so thrilled and imagine he has witnessed the entire conversation how his emotion must be how how emotional sanjay must have become he is saying sanjay is saying i got an opportunity he is a very honest uh, person he is a, a best seva in this also he is dedicating this to dhritarashtra because i am your sevak i have got this opportunity to listen to this entire conversation ityaham vasudevasya parthasya ch mahatmanah oh mighty king i have got this opportunity to listen to this uh, conversation which nobody has heard till date संवादम इमम श्रौषम दिस इज दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल कन्वर्सेशन व्हिच नो बडी हैज एवर हर्ड ओके एंड हाउ इज दिस हिट ही हैज यूज्ड टू एडजेक्टिव्स अद्भुतम एंड रोमहर्षण अद्भुत मींस इट इज वंडरफुल वेरी एक्साइटिंग ब्यूटीफुल ग्रैंड ओके अद्भुत एंड रोमहर्षण इट इज थ्रिलिंग इट इज अ थ्रिलिंग कन्वर्सेशन दैट आई हैव हर्ड and we continuing this at this point of time he is full of gratitude towards one bhagwan veda vyas because of whom he could un- he could listen to this entire conversation vyasa prasada chritavan etat kahiyam aham param yogai yogeshwara krishna sakshat kathayat svayam व्यास प्रसाद चतवान संजय इज फुल ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड फॉर हू भगवान ले द व्यास बिकॉज़ एज अ प्रसाद एज अ ग्रेस एज अ ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम भगवान वे द व्यास ही गॉट दिस कैपेसिटी टू लिसन टू दिस कन्वर्सेशन सो व्यास प्रसाद चतवान एतत् गुह्यम अहम् परम द प्राइम सीक्रेट दिस एंटायर रहस्य वाज आई कुड विटनेस आई कुड लिसन बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रसाद ऑफ भगवान वेद व्यास सो ब्यूटीफुली ही इज फुल ऑफ ग्रैटिट्यूड फॉर भगवान वेद व्यास एंड हाउ इज दिस कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन योगई योगीश्वरा कृष्णात एंड हाउ इज दिस कन्वर्सेशन इट इज द डिवाइन कन्वर्सेशन गुह्यम अहम् क गुह्यत गुह्य कन्वर्सेशन secret conversation by whom swayam yogeshwar krishna see beautiful now how did he listen not like us on zoom call on uh, youtube all that sakshat sakshat kathayat swayam he himself has told all this so blessed he must be feeling when we hear bhagavad gita even on youtube we are feeling so we feel so blessed he has heard it directly from the mouth of the almighty shri krishna imagine the level of gratitude sanjay will be filled with rajan samsmritya samsmritya samvadam himam adbhutam keshava arjuna yog punyam rashami cha mohur muhuh rajan samsmritya samsmrityu i have heard this conversation and i am remembering it again and again o oh, king the more i remember this entire conversation how is this conversation adbhut conversation great conversation beautiful conversation divine conversation when i am listening when i am remembering this conversation again and again how is this conversation between keshava and arjuna i am remembering this conversation and rejoicing rishami cha murmu sometimes you know this happens when we are in class and all of a sudden um, you remember the class through the day and you will feel ah oh, this was such a nice shloka when we read these shlokas again how oh, some shlokas of uh, second chapter 
worth of food every there are some shlokas which you instantly connect with when we read we rejoice rashami he has listened to the sunter conversation and he's re rejoicing again and again hmm? see by uh, listening to this entire conversation listening to this bhagavad gita is one thing hmm? you when you just listen and understand you go by grammar try to understand the meanings read hundreds of books when 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 you try to understand the words the grammar the meanings and everything we are just touching the body of shrimad bhagavad gita but when this is done with bhakti when this is done with devotion devotion when these shlokas are seen with a uh, spectacle of devotion then you will be touching the heart of bhagavad gita when we say something has touched my heart then what is the difference between getting in contact with something just knowing something and somebody has touched my heart that distinction we have to understand that feeling uh, sanjay is telling here this entire conversation has touched his heart he is uh, has become a devotee he is rejoicing rishami cha mohor mohu संस्मृत्य संस्मृत्य हरे विस्मयो मे महान राजन रश्यामि च पुनः पुनः नाउ ही इज गोइंग बैक टू द इलेवेंथ चैप्टर बिकॉज ही हैज सीन द विश्व रूप तच संस्मृति टिल जस्ट रिसलिंग टू द कन्वर्सेशन ही सींग वॉट इट इज अद्भुत कन्वर्सेशन ना हि तच संस्मृति संस्मृति रूप मत्य अद्भुत हरे हे ही हेज सीन द फॉर्म दि अल्टिमेट ब्यूटिफुल फॉर्म ऑफ श्री हरि विष्णु द विश्व रूप दर्शन ही सींग एंड ही इज रिमेम्बरिंग इट एंड हि वॉट इज द एब्जेक्टिव ही इज यूज रूप मत्य अद्भुत अति अद्भुत till now he is saying adbhut romanchak adbhut rom harshanam rishyami and here he is saying it is ati adbhut beyond my description beyond any level of uh, description it is so beautiful rupa matyadbhutam hare he vismayo me mahan rajan he is in a complete state of um oh and rishami chapuna punaha i am becoming happy i am rejoicing again and again tach samsmritya samsmritya see i have seen some people when you just mention chapter 11 to them how hmm? oh, now i am teaching 11 chapter in the class if i tell oh 11 chapter is so divine it's so beautiful just by the mention of the number of the chapter people will uh, you know say great things when particular shlokas you all have read and and studied the 11th chapter when the shlokas are saying the shlokas in front of uh, we become full of you know that you know that hair uh, standing with them romance that experience we'll have hair raising experience you know full of energy you will be this sanjay he has actually seen so imagine the amount of happiness that he is experiencing he has seen these all concepts again uh, with his own eyes and sanjay what is the relationship between sanjay and dhritarashtra sanjay is an employee with dhritarashtra hmm? dhritarashtra is his employer they have a relation of an employee and employer this entire divine knowledge has equipped equipped sanjay with so much confidence he is a satvik person the person who is uh, his his satvikta is elevated and is filled with so much courage that in front of his employer with full confidence smoothly he is making a very important declaration what is that yatra yogeshwara krishno yatra partho dhanadhara त्रीर्वजो भूते ध्रुवाणी देवते मम योगेश्वर कृष्ण एट योर ओन प्लेसेस से द श्लोक विद मी यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्ण यत्र पार्थो धनधर तत्र श्रीर्वजो भूते ध्रुवाणी देवते मम this is the most important shloka of shrimad bhagavad gita gyaneshwar mahara says this this is the most important shloka of bhagavad gita so you assume gita is as a mandir shrimad bhagavad gita as a mandir this shloka is a dhwaja the flag 
of this Gita Mandir, Swami Ji says. Hmm? Uh, we have seen the Sar of Upanishadas, Vedas is in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The summary of entire Vedas, Upanishadas is in Bhagavad Gita. The entire summary of Bhagavad Gita is in 18th. And the summary of entire 18th chapter is coming in this one shloka. You understand this one shloka. Even if you have not understood the entire Bhagavad Gita, you understand this one shloka and your life will set. You will, be, you will be on a different level of a spiritual journey. In our shastras, in our scriptures, it is believed, say, suppose you are trying to um, you know, go to a temple for darshan and there is a lot of crowd, you are not able to enter the uh, temple. Then at least you should see the kalash, do pranam to the kalash and then you can go back. If that crowd is so much that you are not even able to see the kalash, do pranam to the dvaj of the mandir and then you can go back. This shloka is the dvaj, it is the flag of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. And this shloka we have to understand. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna. Yatra Partho Dhanurdharaha. Reading in between the lines, we Krishna, wherever Sri Krishna and wherever Dhanurdhara Partha are there together, where just the literal translation of the shloka is wherever they both are uh, present together, there Shri Vijaya Bhuti Shri Tatra Shri Vijayo Bhuti Dhruvani Tenmatir Mama. There will be prosperity, there will be victory, there will be a uh, you know Shashvat victory, an eternal victory, and morality will always uh, be there. Reading in between the line, we have to understand Yogeshwara Krishna is. Uh, resembling your uh, 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 wisdom. <clears throat> Arjun resembles Purushartha. He resembles the efforts that one person has. Wherever the efforts and the wisdom are coming together, whenever this effort and the wisdom, the Purushartha, Arjun is resembling the Purushartha. Swamiji says Arjun resembles Purushartha and Yogeshwara Krishna is resembling Vivek, the wisdom, the intellect. Wherever they both are together. Some people, you know, they can make immense efforts, but they, they lack the wisdom. Some people have a lot of, you know, ideas. They are very intelligent. They have a lot of intellect, but they lack the efforts. Where these two are coming. There, what will happen when this combination is going to happen? This entire combination will make your life beautiful. How? Like the life of Shri, Shivaji Maharaj, like the life of Swami Vivekananda, how beautiful their lives were. They, the lives were full of what? They were victorious, prosperous lives, victorious lives. Their success was based on morals and hence it was eternal success they have achieved. Sri Rama, eternal success they have achieved. This, your body, you consider it as a rath and make God, Sri Krishna, as its charioteer. The final message from this one shloka, this body is your rat, your chariot. Make your, make uh, Sri Krishna, make him the charioteer of this body. And then you see, you will attain all this. Tatra Sri Vijayo Bhutir Dvani Tir Matir Mama. On this note, we have to understand. Let us make this. Uh, we the, in you must have seen one uh, picture, you know, where they show that body is a shab, sharir is a rat, and the sarthi of it is man buddhi. Um, you have to tame that and invest it in Sri Krishna and inculcate Srimad Bhagavad Gita in our lives. While we are doing this, one thing we should not forget because we are towards conclusion of Bhagavad Gita here. Very important thing. Sri Krishna was the Sarthi. Arjun was the warrior. And on that chariot was sitting Anuman. Huh? He is the... So Hara and Hari both together got success for Arjun. So what our Swamiji has been telling in Ram Pratishta, do Hanumanji puja. He, one very beautiful concept Swamiji has told, I completely love it, that 
whatever bhagavad gita has been told by shri krishna the sakar roop the in, uh, you know incarnation of bhagavad gita is seen in shri hanuman so we have to try to inculcate those values do not forget shri hanuman and then follow all that what our swami ji has been telling us about the hanuman chalisa part also let us do it so that we get enough intellect to understand this bhagavad gita on this note we move towards the conclusion of this chapter it is not possible to understand any scriptures any grantha without the will of shri krishna you reach those grantha you reach bhagavad gita only if shri krishna wants you to reach there we all are the chosen ones we all are so lucky that shri krishna has chosen us to learn bhagavad gita shri krishna has selected us to be connected with bhagavad gita this entire understanding is not possible completely impossible without the kripa of satguru with guru kripa only this is possible unless there was varadhasta of puram pooja swami govind dev giri ji maras none of us would have been here none of us would have been on this path of understanding this uh, bhagavad gita so we all should go down and try to seek the blessings of swami ji we all are blessed and let us fill our heart with gratitude devotion towards both of them shri krishna and swami ji who have taken us on this spiritual journey <clears throat> on this note om tat sad te shrimat bhagavat gita su upanishad su brahma vidyaya yoga shastre shri krishna arjuna samvade moksha sanyasa yogo nama अष्टादशोध्याय ओं श्रीकृष्णापणमस्त ओं श्रीगुरव नम हरि ओं तत्सत् to my best possible capacity i try to uh, describe whatever little i could understand it's entirely the kripa of swami ji because of whom because of whose blessings i did this audacity of trying to explain this chapter so i bow down to him and uh, sorry we lost the time quite a bit but we had to complete the chapter and more than that it was a very important concept that we all had to understand so apologies for the delay just it so if there are any uh, questions uh, they can raise the hand if anybody has to ask anything i'll try my level best i'm not uh, very capable of maybe answering but yeah hansa didi okay jai shri krishna didi jai shri krishna hansa didi you om ji do today you know <laughs> it was awesome thank you very much you always do that and i love your you know vivechan satr and how no, no, i can no, my vivechan is a gita parivar's <laughs> vivechans and a completely but, no, but the way you explain yeah gita parivar is great but you were vivechan and you were in my class you were teaching you know level 4 that day and i loved your class too and very very overwhelmed and this adhyay is so beautiful i hope just one question that uh, my mind wanders here and there whenever i try to learn a uh, shloka or do some things so what is the best way i do meditation try to med- do meditation and everything but what is the best way to control my mind so i just focus on that time on krishna or any you know mm-hmm. that thing. see it it will come by practice abhyasena to kaunte see for this in the 12th chapter also certain shlokas there what shri krishna says first you invest your buddhi you invest your intellect in me gradually okay. when you apply your mind in it see for some time the mind will be you know uh, it will go uh, run away so how we teach, teach small children you see so uh, i i distinctly remember when i t- used to teach hindi very tough language for my children now in this uh, so you all can understand that so when they learn yes. learn for two minutes they will sit they'll run away then again bring them back come sit run then again after 5 minutes they'll run gradually but they start developing the interest the time for which the child sits to study increases similar is our buddhi we have to tame it gradually it will happen initially uh, you will focus only for 2 minutes then 
gradually that will increase to 4 minutes gradually it will see what, what level we all are at now this has not happened in one day you know even when we started learning bhagavad gita initially one two shloka is enough then reading one chapter it was like a huge achievement <laughs> two years back we used to feel like that then gradually If two chapters at a stretch we read you see that in level 2 level 3 students all of a sudden three four chapters i could read at a stretch and now we you, you all are trainers most of them some of them i see are very senior trainers doing entire para and in within one hour 45 minutes two hours we are able to do our para and how this is happened this has happened with practice okay. so the consistency okay. should be with the practice forget about the end result it will gradually happen but the consistency of practice has to be there thank you didi very beautifully explained thank you okay. thank you very much jai shri krishna jai shri krishna didi jai shri krishna your name didi your name is showing is like phone so pranam to you jai shri krishna uh, didi on the screen i don't know your name your name is showing is iphone <laughs> Didi, you oh, are highlighted. Yeah. Jai Shri Krishna. Namaste, Jai Shri Krishna ji. I just wanted to thank you very much for the excellent vivacity and for giving us the opportunity to learn this beautiful Bhagavad Gita explanation. Uh, thanks to Gita Parivar as well because Gita. we wouldn't have been here without them. I am thankful to Gita Parivar that I could study. <laughs> I am thankful to Gita Parivar for connecting all of us to Swami ji. by his blessing this sukshma upasthiti in that meeting is making this meeting certainly certainly so thank you very much thank you so much jai shri krishna jai shri krishna okay so i think uh, anchor didi has uh, got some network issue so if there are any further questions you all can uh, still raise the hands in the meantime i think we can proceed to the prayer didi uh, the concluding prayer Prayer to Geeta Devi, I think is going to okay. Padma Devi has raised the hand. One minute, Devi. Ji, yeah. Padma Ji. Yeah, Jai Shri Krishna, Padma Devi. Can unmute, please. Padma Devi, please unmute yourself. Please unmute, Devi. I have sent you an unmute request. Padma Devi, you are unmute. Hai. Unmute, ho jaiye. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, Devi. I can hear you now. Please say. Yes, Mr. Krishna. Yes, ma'am. It was very good listening to you, Didi. Very good listening to you. Uh, there is one question for me. It's my personal. Uh, whenever I recite the uh, shloka, uh, I feel sleepy. What What is the reason for that? <laughs> See, we all have three guns amongst us, isn't it? Uh, Satvik gun, Rajogun, Tamogun. So they are, you know, always fighting amongst each other. okay they are trying to pull each other down sometimes we have seen this huh? 14th uh, chapter we have these shlokas so when you are trying to do something good there is a small tamogun which is trying to pull you down in that case keep an incentive if after completing so many shlokas um, you know you do something you know after uh, doing after suppose reading five shlokas i'll get i'll go for a walk and come back some small incentive you have to put and gradually uh, you know uh, increase that rajogun and then you will start enjoying eventually see this this is this could also be because you attain so much peace that mental fatigue is also there it can make one sleepy but eventually after practice you know see now initially it might have been like after five shlokas you feel sleepy same thing what i told you didi earlier then hansa didi so after 10 shlokas you feel sleepy gradually with practice it will become like when you start studying you will forget sleep and i have experienced this and that's why with full confidence i can tell you that that this that stage will come eventually your interest your uh, mind will be so focused on these uh, studies uh, with me it has become ulta now that when uh, otherwise i am feeling very sleepy the moment i start studying for the vivech an entire sleep goes so that state will but it comes gradually after studying few shlokas after reciting few shlokas reward yourself with something small you know uh, you know make it in installments make that effort in installments gradually we'll reach a state where you will be addicted to uh, uh, saying the shlokas that stage will eventually come but it will come with practice and rome was not built in a day 
similarly this all adhyas it is not going to come in one day gradually it will definitely happen ऊपर फर्स्ट जो है मन मना भो मत भक्त मध्याजी मान नमस्कुरु इसको जरा सा एक बार और आप ये समझाते हैं वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट इन दिस श्लोक देर देर आर फोर थिंग्स दैट श्री कृष्णा में इन डिटेल आह यू कैन लिसन टू द विवेचन ऑन यूट्यूब इन शॉर्ट आई टेल यू व्हाट आर द फोर थिंग्स दैट श्री कृष्णा हैज टोल चार चीजें बोली हैं मन मना भव Shri Krishna Ji, me man mana, your mind should be invested, your man should be invested in Shri Krishna. Mat bhakta bhava. What is the meaning of bhakta? Bhakti means loving. So, love me, be my devotee. Madhya ji bhava, be my worshipper. That is the third thing he is telling. You have to worship me. Worship me with the help of flowers, puja, whatever you do. Worship me with your good actions. Maam namas karo. Mujhe namaskar karo. मुझे प्रणाम करो एंड वेन दिस इज जन्मांगशियम So Gita Didi, I request you to say the prayer. Ah, uh, and uh, video also, Didi. Yeah. Gita Didi, please start your video. Yeah. Ah, uh, Gita Didi. Yeah, I'm trying, are... but it's not. Okay. No problem. Ah, uh, we we saw you some few minutes back. Not so. Maybe you can start with the prayer. ओके प्लीज प्रोसीड विद प्रेयर दीदी जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण योगेशम सच्चिदानंद वासुदेव व्रज प्रिय धर्म संस्थापक वीर कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु श्री कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु अंजलि श्री गुरु चरण सरोज रज निज मनु मुकुर सुधारी बरन रघुवर विमल जसु जोदाय कुफल चारी बुद्धिहीन तनु जानिके सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या देहु मोहि हर कले सिकार जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपी सती हूँ लोक उजागर राम दूत अतुलित बल धामा अंजनी पुत्र पवन सुत नामा महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी कुमति निवार सुमति के संगी कंचन बरन विराज सुबेसा कानन कुंडल कुंचित के सा हाथ वज्र और ध्वजा विराजे कांधे मूज जने ऊसाजे शंकर सुवन केसरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजग वंदन विद्यावान गुनी अति चातुर राम काज करीबे को आतुर प्रभु चरित्र सुनिबे को रसिया राम लखन सीता मन बसिया सूक्ष्म रूप धरि सिया दिखावा विकट रूप धरि लंक जरावा भीम रूप धरि असुर संहारे राम चंद्र के काज सवारे लाय 
पायस जीवन लखन जियाए श्री रघुबीर हर शिवर लाए रघुपति की नी बहुत बड़ाई तुम मम प्रिय भर तय सम भाई सहस बदन तुम रोजस गावे अस कही श्री पति कंठ लगावे सन कादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनि सा नारद सारद सहित अहिसा जम कुबेर दिखपाल जहाँ ते कवि को विद कही सके कहाँ ते तुम उपकार सुग्री बहि की नाराम मिलाय राज पद दीना तुम्हारो मंत्र विभीषण माना लंकेश्वर है सब जग जाना जुग सहस्र जो जन पर भानु लीलोता ही मधुर फल जानु प्रभु मुद्रिका मेली मुख माही जल दिलांगि गए अचरज नाही दुर्गम काज जगत के जेते सुगम अनुग्रह तुम्हारे ते ते राम दुआरे तुम रखवारे भूतन आज्ञा बिनु पैसा रे सब सुख लहे तुम्हारी सरना तुम रक्षक काहू को डरना आपन तेज संभारो आपे तीनों लोक हाकते कापे भूत पिशाच निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुनावे ना से रोग हरे सब पीरा जपत निरंतर हनुमत वीरा संकट ते हनुमान छुड़ावे मन क्रम वचन ध्यान जो लावे सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा दिन के काज सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे सोई अमित जीवन फल पावे चारो जुग पर ताप तुम्हारा है पर सिद्ध जगत उजियारा साधु संत के तुम रखवारे असुर निकंदन राम दुलारे अष्ट सिद्धि नौ निधि के दाता असवर दीन जान की माता राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा सदा रहो रघुपति के दासा तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के दुख विसरावे अंत काल रघुबर पुर जाई जहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाई और देवता चित्तन धरई हनुमत से सर्व सुख करई संकट कटे मिटे सब पीरा जो सुमिरे हनुमत बल बीरा जय 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 हनुमान गोसाई कृपा कर गुरुदेव की नाई जो सत बार पाठ कर कोई छूट ही बंदी महा सुख होई जो यह पढ़े हनुमान चलीसा हो यह सिद्धि साखी गौरी सा तुलसीदास सदा हरि चेरा की जय नाथ हृदय महडेरा पवन तनय संकट हरना मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसहु सुर भूप सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय जय श्री राम जय हनुमान so arya didi is not there i uh, whole heartedly thank each one of you for making it to the vivechan i am extremely grateful to the technical team uh, text we have here today who have facilitated this entire meeting kalyani didi and tanjish didi thank you so much and thanks to the entire vivechan team of geeta parivar for organizing this vivechan for all of you before we leave for the evening please in remember tomorrow 8:30 e pm we have our geeta sevi program request each one of you to join this gnana yagna and get the benefits of being a geeta sevi as we discussed in the vivechan today let's be the selected chosen ones specially blessed ones by shri krishna by becoming geeta sevi so do not forget to join this our geeta sevi program uh, that is going to be uh, held tomorrow at 8:30 pm jai shri krishna everybody thank you so much